Woman from New Mexico seek recognition. Madam Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2088 as amended. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 2088, a bill to take certain federal lands in Tennessee into trust for the benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Leger Fernandez, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New Mexico. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. H.R. 2088, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act, introduced by Res Representative Fleischman of Tennessee, takes specified lands and easements in Monroe County, Tennessee, into trust for the use and benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. These areas include the Sequoia Museum, the Chota Museum, the Tanasi Memorial, and land to support these properties and cultural programs. The Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is one of three federally recognized Cherokee tribes and is the only federally recognized tribe in North Carolina. The Eastern Band's ancestral homeland includes substantial parts of seven eastern states, including Tennessee. The 57,000-acre Quaya boundary is the name of the Cherokee Indian Reservation in North Carolina. In 1979, the completion of the Teleco Dam by the Tennessee Valley Authority caused large areas of the Eastern Band's ancestral lands along the Little Tennessee River to be flooded, completely submerging the sacred sites and archaeological remains of the historic overland Cherokee towns, including the Cherokee capitals of the 1700s. The Eastern Band can never recover these flooded lands and sites. And it is especially with this loss in mind that it's important to recognize that there are other locations in the area that require protection and preservation, and we can do that today. H.R. 2088 helps this cause by transferring approximately 76 acres of historically significant lands from the TVA to the U.S. government to be held in trust for the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. It also grants two permanent easements over TVA property to be held in trust for the tribe to create recreational trails between the sites. This legislation will give the Eastern Band greater control over their historic homelands and the opportunity to memorialize the history and culture of the Cherokee people. I support H.R. 2088, and I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of this bill. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 2088, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act, as amended. And I also want to thank Chairman Grijalva and Chairwoman Ledger Fernandez for their cooperation on this bill. The Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is a relatively small tribe located in the Great Smoky Mountains of Western North Carolina. The tribe's reservation covers over 50,000 acres in a region known as the Kuala Boundary. After the completion of the Teleco Dam in Loudoun County, Tennessee in 1979, the tribe explained to the Tennessee Valley Authority that there were areas of historic significance impacted by the dam. H.R. 2088 would place Tennessee Valley Authority land and permanent easements into trust along the shores of the Little Tennessee River and Teleco Reservoir in Monroe County, Tennessee, for the benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. The parcels to be placed in trust under the bill will primarily be used for memorializing and interpreting the history of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. Gaming pursuant to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act will be prohibit or prohibited and TVA will be able to continue carrying out river control and development to power the Tennessee Valley region. I want to recognize the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Fleshman, for his continued work on this important legislation. I, do, I urge adoption of the measure and reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. I reserve. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from, New Me from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield such time as he may consume to the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Fleshman. The gentleman is recognized. 
Madam Speaker, uh, Madam Chair, Mr. Ranking Member, I thank you for the opportunity to address the House today. I rise in support of my bill, H.R. 2088, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act. The great state of Tennessee, my home state, gets its name from the historic Overhill Cherokee Village site called Tennessee, located in present day Monroe County, Tennessee. Tennessee served as the capital of the Cherokee people from as early as 1721. Unfortunately, as a result of misguided federal policies, the Cherokee people were forcibly removed from their homes in Tennessee and surrounding states. This tragic period in American history led to the Trail of Tears, a journey on which the United States forcibly marched 15,000 Cherokees to the Indian Territory. My bill, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act, returns important historical sites back to the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, the tribal nation comprised of descendants of those Cherokees who resisted removal in the Great Smoky Mountains. It is on these same lands where the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians have for decades honored the birthplace of Sequoia, whose likeness we have all had the opportunity to pass as we make our way from the rotunda of our capital to this house floor. H.R. 2088 would return 76.1 acres of TVA land back to the Eastern Band of Cherokees in trust and grant two permanent easements over TVA property to be held in trust for the tribe for creating recreational trails between the sites. The tribe is committed to improving the educational resources of the Sequoia Birthplace Museum and to providing a means for the economic development for the local community through cultural tourism. The Cherokee Nation has a rich history in the 3rd District of Tennessee, and I'm grateful to be engaged in the process to safeguard their story. The exact piece of legislation has easily passed the House with broad bipartisan support for the last two Congresses. I strongly urge members of the United States Senate to understand the importance of Cherokee tribal land preservation and to support H.R. 2088 so that it may be brought to President Biden's desk in an accelerated manner. November serves as Indigenous Peoples Month and I encourage all of my colleagues in both chambers to join in passing this momentous piece of legislation. Thank you, Madam Chair and Madam and Ranking Member and Madam Speaker, I yield back. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from New, the gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Reserve, I reserve the balance. The gentlewoman of my time. reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker, I'd also again like to Thank the gentleman from Tennessee for his work on this legislation. I thank the ranking or the chairman and the chairwoman uh, for their work on this package of bills. I would ur urge adoption of this bill. Yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. I want to once again thank the ranking uh, member Resterman for the support of this package of bipartisan bills that we have brought to the floor today. It is historic that we begin this month with this commitment to these bills and to getting them passed in a bipartisan manner. I really want to thank the representative from Tennessee for his work and for the bipartisan support we have today on this floor for cultural preservation of tribal sites. The idea that we are committed to safeguard, that's such a beautiful word you used, that we are committed to safeguard the stories and places of sacred importance to tribes. Because we know that too often they are overrun with other interests, right, that they take over and they lose those sacred sites. And so I'm so grateful to all of you for the support of this legislation and the other pieces of legislation that we have brought forward today, which um, we emphasize, which we dedicate ourselves to a new era where we are working to protect sacred sites, where we are working to make sure that the health care of Indian tribes is is 
is is maintained and improved in our urban areas. Uh, it is a very good day on the floor. I I urge all my colleagues to support this bill and all of the eight other bills, the eight bills that we have brought forward today. And with that, I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2088? Those in favor, as amended. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the gentleman from Virginia. Request a uh, recorded vote. The yeas and nays, please. Pursuant to Section 3S of House Resolution 8, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings on this question will be postponed.